Hey guys, what's up? Check out this score. 40 inch ultra high def TV. Uh, it's actually a broken TV. Picked up on 25 bucks on Craigslist. And uh, the guy said there was actually like a bad LED or backlight. Uh, the trick is, is that there's no, the, the screen is not cracked and that's what you want. So if the screen is cracked, then it's, it's pretty much pointless, useless. Uh, all right, 25 bucks, see if we can get it fixed. All right, so yeah, take a look at this new remote. I can't believe the guy actually kept the box. All right, so it's on my test bench, and yeah, the cool thing about these modern TVs, they're actually easier to fix than the old CRTs. So I used to fix CRTs about 20 years ago. Uh, mainly computer monitors, not really TVs, but they're the same thing back in the day. Let's um, power this thing on here. Okay. So the guy actually did have our pair tech come out and said it would be 195 to fix, and it was. Uh... All right, so it did, another technician did open this up. That always kind of makes me nervous. So I don't know if there's gonna be any sort of missing boards in here or not. But uh, yeah, that's not usually the typical route you'd want to go. You kind of want this to be stock and never opened up. All right, so let's get this going. I guess I got four remaining screws to take off and get going. Alright, there it is. It's off. So, some of the first things I'm going to do is check to see if there's any bad, obvious bad components. Check the fuse. I, mean, I don't think the fuse will be bad because we're getting standby voltage. But, alright. And then, okay, just looking for in. Uh, then I'm going to start checking the voltages. Like I said, because this has already been open before, I don't know if it's missing boards or what. But I haven't even looked at a schematic for this thing yet. If they even have one. Okay, speaker output, speaker output. Cool. Control wheel. Looks like. Okay, that was a top screen. Just trying to figure out if anything's missing here. Wait, so I'm going to go through and just kind of uh, do a quick inspection to see if I see something. Alright, so yeah, this PCB is pretty cool. So it actually shows you like a diagram of like what is what. Like this connector, it basically tells me what's going on in that connector. and That's actually really, really helpful. Like I'm not a professional TV repairman, I'm just some guy who bought a TV on Craigslist that's trying to fix it. That would be fun. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm gonna just go through and start doing the voltage test. All right, so let me show you a little thing I saw online. So if I unplug this, this is the connection to the actual the main board here. Oh. There we go. The LED came on. So I know that part of the power supply and the backlight is fine. But I'm still gonna check all the voltages just to make sure everything's correct. And as soon as you plug it back in, watch the, the light will go out. That's good. Alright, so I know part of the uh, thing is good. That means I don't have to completely tear this thing apart to replace an LED strip. At least I know that's that's good. So I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna go back, check the voltages here, and then and like I said, it gives me a graph of what to check here. And then I'm gonna start focusing on this area over here. Look for anything obvious. Right. So I got my other multimeter connected with uh, some uh, clips on it like that. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to check out the pins, make sure I'm getting the right kind of voltages out of here. Like I said, that is actually really cool that they actually put it right here on the on the PCB. Definitely save some time. Alright, so I'm going to first check these grounds here. So I know uh, pins 10 and 12 should be uh, rounded. You can hear my multimeter going off. I know those are ground. So uh, that's good. Looking good. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to plug it in and we'll start checking voltage. Alright, hopefully you can see that. But these internal pins right here should be 13 volts. All these right here should be 13 volts. So we're going to check that out real fast. Plug it in. I have this at the DC. It's also grounded on the chassis. 
see. So those should be... Alright, so we're looking at 12.68, which is kind of low. It should be about 12.8. Yeah, it says it right on the scale what it should be. But at least they're consistent and staying the same. Let's see here. Alright, so I moved the main logic board here. And it just, it just pops forward like that and pops out. So I'm just looking for some obvious signs of uh, issues here. Let me clean up the grounds a little bit. It looks like, see those, those copper parts? That's actually where it's grounded to the actual case right here. So, just look for some obvious problems here. Let's see what's up. It's kind of weird. Now the actual backlight's coming on. You can see that, that hole right there. And backlight's on. So, I can confirm through those holes. But no picture. That's weird. Alright, so doing some more research. We obviously looked at this. That was 12.68 volts. And it should be 12.8 volts according to that label up there. But also, this output was actually pretty high. The uh, LED output right here. Where I was getting about 300 volts. And uh, 190, I guess I can show you real fast. Plug it back, it's already plugged in, so let me grab my multimeter. And I'll show you that real fast. So this, this actually one was actually running at 300 volts. 3 hill 1. And that connector was running at 238, which is pretty high. Um, so even if I actually activate the LEDs, I pull this out. LED strip comes on. I don't think I want to run at that high volt very long, but even with it, powered on it's at 228 volts and 145 so that one is in range if you look according to this graph right here but this other one is super super high 228 yeah it's about 40 volts 30 volts higher than normal but 300 volts when it's not active so plug this back in get the board power again LEDs turn off and we're back up to 303 so alright so just try to figure it out that is cool how they put the voltage on the schematic though alright so uh, I just looked online and to get a new board like this at shop Jimmy it's 25 bucks so it definitely be worth it I, I think there's definitely something wrong with this board because the voltages just seem like they're just all over the place so I'm gonna take some of these caps out and just test them to see what I, let's see what I see Alright, so I'm back here another day. Decided to throw on the towel and get this uh, stuff over to shop Jimmy. It was only 37 bucks for the all the components in this thing. So we came with the, the sticker. Well, that's cool. So I'm assuming this is off the broken TV. Wow, it came with everything. Well, better have the power boards. So I'm gonna do a test and see what component is actually bad. So if you guys are actually having the same issue, you'll, you'll know exactly what component's bad. You know, when your standby light's on, but you're not getting any power. So I still suspect it, it's the power supply, because it, it did have some off voltages. And another interesting note too is that I was able to um, get this thing to turn on by itself. And I noticed this thing, I, I took off all the capacitors off the, off this, the power board test them individually but this seemed to actually uh, it, it powered on one time and, and the voltage seemed to get better All right, like I said since I have them both I'm gonna try the power board first so I'm gonna take this off and put this one on and see what happens so I'll double check and make sure it's the same ones yeah that's right it came with this extra cable too so I'll have some spare parts interesting if the cap is different All right, cool. I'm gonna swap them out and see what happens. All right, power board's in. I'll just take this cable off and place it one to one. Came with it. I, I personally think it's the power board, but uh, we'll see. Let me see. 
disconnected. Okay. This. Hmm. Could be wrong. No backlight coming on. I would see the backlight through these holes. Alright, so when you buy this kit, it looks like they give you everything. They're basically giving you all the electronics of the uh, internal electronics of the TV. So, IR sensor, Wi Fi module, everything, you know? So, alright. Alright, so I got all this swapped out here. And plug the power in, we'll see what happens. There it goes. So it actually was a control board and not the power supply. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I bought them both. So, alright, we'll get this thing uh, mad and we'll fire it up and see if it works. Like right now, we're getting backlight. And there we are. Cool. It works. If you can see that or not. Welcome. Awesome. Alright, there it is. So, ultra high def, 70 bucks, Samsung. Alright, so it was a controller board, but uh, at least I'll have a spare power board, but um, cool. So I'm going to keep my eye out for a 55 or 65 inch TV for my living room. Cool.